Hi all, welcome to Anjan JCP Data Engineering. So we are starting a new video series, right? This is basically uh, a conceptual video series on Google Cloud Data Engineering Services. This video series will help you to prepare for Google Cloud Data Engineering External Certification, okay? And also, if you are designing a data processing system, if you have to select appropriate Google Cloud service, right, based on the use case, right. So, this conceptual video will definitely help you, okay. So, in this video, we will focus on choosing appropriate Google Cloud storage and database services based on your use case and the nature of the data, okay. So, basically, when it comes to the data formats and data types, right, usually there are different kinds of data available okay so if you have to segregate that data type right so usually it can be segregated into two different types okay so the first one is structured data okay the second one is unstructured data when it is coming to structured data right so the data can be represented in a tabular format right so few examples we can say csv data as a structured data okay and our and also Excel data, Microsoft Excel data. And if there is a text data which is separated with some delimiter, we can also call that data as a structured data, which can be loaded into some tables. Okay. When it is coming to unstructured data, so we cannot uh, represent or load the data in tabular format. Right. So few examples like audio files, video files, or it can be an image, or it can be a sensor data or it can be a application logs okay so all this data comes under this unstructured data category okay so now we will discuss all structured data use cases first okay and then we'll move on to the unstructured data right again in structured data use cases right based on the purpose of the data we are storing we can divide that into two different parts okay the first one is analytical data the second one is transactional data so analytical data means OLAP system online analytical processing system transactional system OLTP systems online transactional processing system in case of analytical use case right you will store that data into some data warehouse you will use or you will further consume that data to perform different kinds of analysis on top of the data to bring some useful business insight which would help business to take appropriate decisions to improve their business okay this is called analytical data so you will store the data into data warehouses all the data warehouses use cases comes under this particular category okay now it is coming to analytical data if you have to select appropriate service based on use case what are the different parameters you will consider while selecting your database or storage service okay so in the first case if you need a standard sql to analyze your data okay and uh, you need query response in seconds that means seconds has latency and if you have to store very huge m huge amount of data that is petabyte scale and uh, if you should be able to execute very fast sequels okay and uh, if you have to store relational data okay for all such scenarios for all such use cases bigquery is the service you can look into right and uh, this is basically an enterprise data warehouse available on the google cloud platform mostly for all data warehouse use cases if you have to use sql as your analytical tool bigquery is the service you can consider okay and in the second case if you need the query response in milliseconds that is millisecond latency that to at scale that means very huge data okay and also you can read and write very high throughput data okay 
and also you can store very huge amount of data that is minimum greater than 100 terabytes okay but if you doesn't require any SQL capability to analyze your data in such use cases you can consider cloud big table as your service this is very much suitable for millisecond latency high throughput read and writes and no SQL and to store very huge amount of data at scale you can scale big table almost limitless based on your workload okay so this is how you will select your analytical services for your use case based on all these parameters taken into consideration okay now coming to the transactional use cases that means a data which can undergo very frequent updates or changes so you will go for these type of services okay again based on certain parameters you are going to select appropriate services okay for example let's say if you need a relational database okay that can be offered in different flavors for example if it is a mysql or postgresql or sql survey okay and uh, you are expecting a single database so which can store up to few terabytes of data and you are not expecting this database can be scaled horizontally that means you are not expecting very high scalability there is a limited scalability available in terms of vertical scaling okay in scaling the databases or data processing system there is a concept called vertical scaling and horizontal scaling vertical scaling means you will be able to improvise its internal memory that is RAM and storage that means that is disk or else it is computing capacity that is the CPU okay so but whereas in the horizontal scaling basically it is applicable to distributed data processing systems you can keep on adding nodes horizontally you will add node one by one based on your workload okay in case of cloud SQL right it is single DB you can store data up to few terabytes it doesn't support horizontal scalability and uh, it is offered in different flavors that is MySQL and PostgreSQL and you can query this database using SQL okay again under transactional if you are looking for some SQL databases with some limitations okay and if it is single DB you can go for cloud SQL with vertical scaling capability okay but if you are expecting a horizontal scaling capability okay if you are expecting a horizontal scaling capability for OLTP systems okay you can go for cloud spanner this also supports SQL and horizontal scalability this is offered in two different flavors okay right now PostgreSQL and Google standard SQL okay so I hope I am clear now if you are expecting some no SQL use cases in such scenarios you can go for one more service called Google Cloud Data Store that means you can store document type data into this particular service that is this is called document DB and this is also very highly scalable this does not support any standard SQL but whereas it will support SQL like queries not exactly the standard SQL SQL like queries and also supports asset transaction like traditional databases okay so in such use cases you can go for Google Cloud Data Store okay with the same case in different scenario if you need mobile SDK support that means if you have to develop mobile application in such scenario you can go for Firebase real-time database this is a database and which is highly scalable and it it supports mobile SDKs in different programming languages okay so I hope I'm clear just go through this entire flow once again I will try to provide this document with the video description okay just go through this uh, flow chart or flow okay so now coming to the unstructured data use cases okay so here if you have to store blob 
kind of data okay that means object storage service you are expecting at scale at global scale okay and uh, if you are expecting that data can be stored in different storage classes to save cost right and also if you have to store unstructured data and also structured data in such use case you can consider cloud storage that is gcs okay so we have done multiple videos and we have covered almost most of these services whatever we have been discussing over here we have covered cloud spanner we have covered cloud sql we have covered google cloud storage okay so just go through that respect to playlist okay so i hope i am clear okay now in the same case if you have to store unstructured data but you need mobile sdk support okay which is highly scalable in such case you can consider firebase cloud storage don't be confused with these two service this is a database service that is firebase real time database this is a storage service that means this is a file system this is a database okay so so this is how you can select your storage systems or database systems based on the given serial okay so especially when it is coming to google cloud data engineering certification right so most of the questions are scenario based okay for example they will try to put all this keyword inside that questions and they will try to test your knowledge whether you will be able to select appropriate service based on the given scenario or not for example they will give a question like this so there is a data and uh, uh, it needs sql capability to perform the analysis and uh, that query response should be very fast right and uh, it has to be it, it it should support nested and repeated fields because bigquery supports nested and repeated fields so they will try to put this kind of keywords inside that questions and there will be four answers given so few of the questions uh, there will be single answer and in some scenarios you will have to select even multiple answers they will clearly specify that in the question itself so based on the keyword and the scenario you should be able to select the correct option okay so in other question they may ask they are expecting millisecond latency and high throughput read and writes in such case you can go for big table okay so here also in the oltp systems uh, they may ask they are expecting horizontal scalability and highly available database especially should be available across the globe in such case you can consider cloud spanner in some scenario they will ask simple uh, questions like they are expecting a database where they should be able to query that database using sql and uh, it should support all the acid rules okay in such case you can consider cloud sql okay and uh, if it is a no sql use cases you can check these two services that is document database that is called google cloud data store or else if it if they are expecting it should support mobile sdks you can go for firebase real time database I say it is a unstructured use cases then these two services should come to your mind one is google cloud storage and another one is firebase cloud storage if it is a if if they are expecting it should support mobile sdk you can go for this otherwise google cloud storage for storing structured and unstructured data okay so i hope this will help you okay that's it for this video we will meet in the next video thank you